Welcome to, to TELUS Analysis Strategy a live event. We decided not to talk about the contents of the volume, but to discuss with some of Primo Piano's key contributors. Today, our guest is Toyosi Ogunseye. As you rightly said, my name is Toyosi Ogunseye. I'm the head of West Africa for the BBC World Service. So my job is to ensure that every day we are publishing or producing trustworthy, accurate, balanced, and objective information. And that's what I do on a daily basis. Thank you for having me. And so the question is, how many business people have enough money to invest in media and wait for seven years? And the people that have the kind of money are often government people or people linked to a government. Well, I remember that here in Italy, in the good old days where party, political parties were mass political organizations, we had three, I'm speaking of the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, um, we had uh, first one, then two, then three TV channels from the state on television. And at a certain point, uh, the, the first channel was the channel of, the, of one political party, the Christian Democrats. Uh, another one was the channel of the, the Italian Socialist Party. The third one was the uh, channel of the Italian Communist Party. So every political party had its own media outlet to spread their message. And the first consequence of this, in my view, is that policies actually come uh, under media scrutiny only if the left and the right disagree on those policies, not if they agree. Politicians will always want to open up with media owners and influential journalists because they think they'll get fantastic reviews in the papers or on radio and TV. And they also think in terms of when they have a crisis. Let me be friends with this journalist so that, you know, in six months time, I may have a crisis, I can call upon him. So some of them begin to invest in that relationship in anticipation of future problems, you know. And then the third reason, as I said, is the personal ambition of journalists to get into government and the city media as a pathway to get in there. Anyone can be a journalist, Marco. Anyone can be a journalist. Even this day with, with these days with Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everybody's a citizen journalist. But what separates me from every other journalist is my ability to get you to trust me. And this trust is what the romance between government and media seeks to destroy. And the moment you take that trust away, you are finished. If journalists and government officials or public service holders continue to have this close relationship with the media, the audience doesn't respect you, the politicians don't respect you, at the end of the day, you're going to lose out. One of my editors said to me, can you believe that this politician has gone back to the ruling party? Now, this politician has insulted the president countless times, has said the worst things about the president. But here's a picture of him with the president right now, taking pictures because we have another election circle coming up. The problem with having all political parties come together and agree is because you're never going to get any meaningful debate, Marco. It's never going to happen. And you know what is worse? Because these people have investment in media. So it's like all enemies are coming together to become friends. They've just successfully killed the media. Is democracy being everybody being a yes man? Should I use the power of the people or should I use the power of government? I think that the core responsibility of journalists is to hold power to account. Whatever kind of power, whether commercial power, political power, legal power, and it's just the job of a journalist. So every time we want to do a story and a politician calls and says, oh, you want to destroy my life? Oh, this is the end of me. And I say, I'm sorry. I know that this story isn't going to paint you in good light. However, my responsibility is to the public because that is the greater good. How many people today would invest in a media organization? How many? And until well-meaning individuals and well-meaning audiences 
understand that the media belongs to them and they should invest in it one way or the other, will continue to struggle. And I think that now everybody thinks that media, information altogether, is supposed to be for free, actually. The arrival of internet and the opportunity to uh, have information from all over the world made people think that's no reason to invest in media. The Guardian Initiative, they allow you to read every single article and every now and then there is a pop-up that says yeah. you can read everything, but please remember that there is a, there are lives, there is a cost behind this information and why don't you give us a, even a small donation. We really, really, really thank you, Toyosi, for this lively and see you on October 15th on the same screen at the same hour. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, Toyosi.